I'm a first degree black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I'm certified under the International Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Federation for the United States and in Brazil. So I'm a member of the IBJJF certified black belt. I started Jiu Jitsu about 15 years ago and I started with uh, Mauricio Villardo who is also, he's a fourth degree black belt and um, he's also a member of the International Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Federation. He's a world champion and a numerous uh, Pan American champion. And I started with him um, back in 2001. Previous to that, I trained at the Grace Academy in the late 1990s. And then later I met Mauricio and I started with him. Actually, I was still a white belt at the time. So I went from white all the way to black with him. And I was with him for about 13 years. And uh, he's, he's very tr uh, traditional in his jiu-jitsu. He has very high standards. Uh, he's very strict, you know, about his academy. And, and, um, and one thing about him is, like, what he believes in, he sticks with. And he doesn't change his standards for anybody. And he's been uh, pretty much world-renowned. He's out in, we trained out in Wellington, Florida at the Bilardo Jiu-Jitsu Academy. Uh, so I really I learned uh, self defense. He's he's very adamant about the traditional martial art of jujitsu that came from the Gracie family. Uh, he came from uh, Gracie Humaita under Hoyla Gracie, and uh, you know I'm very appreciative that I learned the self defense martial art of jujitsu. Nowadays, uh, sport jujitsu is very popular. Uh, I compete in sport jiu-jitsu. I'm actually, I'm, I myself am a Pan American champion, uh, state champion, uh, international open champion in sport jiu-jitsu. But I believe that as a black belt, you need to know the self-defense system first. You, you're doing your students an injustice by not teaching them the, the martial art. Because this was not, jiu-jitsu was not created for sport uh, Jiu-Jitsu is a martial art that was created by Elio Gracie and Carlos Gracie to defend yourself on the street for the smaller person to defend himself against the larger person. So through my lineage, um, through Hoyler, through Mauricio, I learned the self-defense, uh, and I'm able to teach the self-defense system very proficiently. And I believe everybody that starts out in Jiu-Jitsu must know the you know, 40, 50 lessons of jiu -jitsu. I'm trying to bring jiu-jitsu in the right direction. I, as I said earlier, I think jiu-jitsu is headed more toward the sport of jiu-jitsu, competition style jiu-jitsu. Uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of instructors now teaching a lot of moves that are not related to self-defense. I believe you need to know the sport jiu-jitsu side and the self-defense side. And sorry to say, there are a lot of black belts now that are very good fighters, very good in sport jiu-jitsu, you know, winning big competitions, but they don't know self-defense, and they're not teaching the true martial art. And I really believe that we need to teach people how to defend themselves, first and foremost, because a, com a competitor is an athlete. You know, you're looking for a certain type of student, usually younger, usually in shape already, somebody that wants to get on the mats to compete, has a lot of cardio, and the masses of people want to learn how to defend themselves. People of all ages, uh, different, all genders, all different types of body styles, and these are, these are the people that we're bringing to better their life, to teach them to walk down the street with confidence. Because I believe as a jiu-jitsu practitioner and a police officer that it's just a matter of time before you're going to be confronted by an assailant. And as we know, the world's you know, getting to be a pretty violent place. And I believe that through jiu-jitsu we, we could learn how to defend ourselves. We could learn how to defend our families. Don't become a victim. 
there are too many victims out there. And once people become a victim, they get very discouraged. And they say, well, you know, I'm, they label themselves a victim. They're insecure. And at that point, they, some of them just don't want to start training. They're very discouraged. So I believe that, I believe that we need, really need to make an effort to educate jiu-jitsu practitioners, especially black belts, that self-defense is an important part of jiu-jitsu. It is the most important part of jiu-jitsu. And that's what I'm going to be bringing to people through my DVDs, uh, through my classes. That's how I learned jiu-jitsu. And I think that we need to continue uh, putting the self-defense out there. The first thing I would look for in an instructor would be the character of that person. I would look for honesty, first and foremost. Honesty nowadays goes a big way. And in my experience, I've only had one... I've only really had one instructor, and I trained under my instructor, Mauricio Villardo, for 13 years. And you want to have somebody that not only knows jiu-jitsu, but as I said before, an instructor, a black belt instructor, that knows the self-defense system that the Gracies originally brought to us as jiu-jitsu, not the sport jiu-jitsu, but an instructor that teaches both self-defense and sport jiu-jitsu. An instructor that actually cares about your personal life, your training on the mats, your progress, lack of progress, and acknowledges you know, everything that you're doing as a student. Because in jiu-jitsu, we never stop becoming students. And you know, there's an old saying in jiu-jitsu, when you first start learning jiu-jitsu, when you get your black belt. And you know, I used to kind of like, think about that when I was a blue belt or purple belt or even brown belt and when I got to black you know I, I it's true I really started learning jiu-jitsu and you want an instructor that's going to be honest with you not just uh, sell you belts give you belts just because you know you're paying the academy but an instructor that actually cares about the history of jiu-jitsu and the future of jiu-jitsu by creating a high standard for his school for his academy. And I just want to tell people right tell people now that you really need to learn jiu-jitsu in an academy with an accredited credible instructor. I preferably a black belt instructor. And it's it's very hard to learn jiu-jitsu just online or or receive your belts online. I, I don't believe in that. I believe that you have to be training consistently under a black belt, credited black belt, to actually progress in jiu-jitsu and learn the positions in jiu-jitsu. So, you, you know, guys, you want to be careful on what, where you go to learn jiu-jitsu. <clears throat> and when you're learning jiu-jitsu, I know everybody, or some people have, you know, price standards or price caps on how much they could spend on jiu-jitsu, but don't base your academy on on inexpensive. Base your training on your instructor, if he's credible, if he's honest, if, know his lineage, where he came from, and if he is certified, a certified black belt, that's even better. 